First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith and preaching the truth and true sincerity. Just want to get into a quick video. You know, money and idols, you know, always been our problem, man. Always been our problem. You know, I'm getting into the scriptures. You know, so. Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, the thing that have been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done, is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. So, everything that we do now, I might be getting interrupted, so I'm trying to see my stepson coming downstairs. Anyway. Yeah, so, you know, the thing that have been it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. So everything, we're not doing anything new, you know. It might be things that's named new, you know, but it, it, in some form or fashion, it already was back in the ancient times. So, you know, so money and idols always been our... You know, our downfall, man, especially idols, man. And in this world, the same thing, man. You know, and we got to realize that our only hope and our only way is Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. Your money ain't going to save you in that day, man. This is the same reason why we got, you know, persecuted and our in Jerusalem got sacked, man. Our temple got sacked. And we had to flee in, fled in um, West Africa, man, from, from running from Roman persecution. So, same thing that's about to happen again, you know. This ain't even our kingdom, but when you think about it, we the one that make this kingdom flourish. Because we are the salt of the earth, you know. So, the devil, you know, Esau, Edom, he get to sit back and just... You know, collect money off of your ignorance. You know, you really thinking that you're doing something when you're only getting crumbs. If you really knew how rich Esau Edom was, you would be you would be ashamed of yourself. You'd be like, man, what the fuck? This is all I'm getting. Yeah, a hundred million sound good, but it's nothing to a person who's a trillionaire. You know, that ain't doing nothing but sitting back doing rich witchcraft, man. But um. But yeah, let's get to Ezekiel 7 and 19. Ezekiel 7 and 19, they shall cast their silver, they shall cast their silver in the street, and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in that day. And that day is coming again. This is talking about when the persecution is 70 AD. But we coming into that again, you know, where with Jacob's trouble. So, not be able to deliver them in that day of the wrath of Yahweh. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is a stumbling block of their iniquity. Like I said, our, our stumbling blocks always been money and idols, man. You got to get out of that spirit. And like, speaking of myself, I even be in that spirit sometimes. Like, I always wish I had more, which is nothing wrong with. But then... When I sit back and think about it, maybe I'm in this position that because the most high know my spirit. You know how a man of the Lord might be like, man, if I if I was rich, I still go out there and teach or I still make videos. I still be a man of the Lord. But even David said, you know, basically make me in the middle. He said, make me not rich for I forget thee and make me not poor for I steal and blaspheme the name of my power, man. You know, so. Even even King David has to be right in the middle because, man, this money is a snare unto us. And it ain't even real money. And to be even and to get even more deeper, the flesh that we're in, we don't need them type of riches, man. Because this flesh is weak and the flesh only knows pleasure. So when you have avenues to all, you know, the um the pleasure, 
that you can actually have, you're going to do it. Romans 8 and 20 say the creature was subject unto vanity. The same that is subject unto hope, man. So our, our only hope is the Heavenly Father and the begotten Son, man. So Ezekiel 7 and 20, as for the beauty of his ornament, he set it in the majesty, but they made the images of their abominations. What did we do back when we got delivered out of Egypt? Moses went up there, you know, to go talk with the Lord, you know, for 40 days, 40 nights. He getting the law to bring down to our people. We took our freaking earrings and jewelry and bracelets and, you know, molted into a golden calf, man. Really? You just seen. Like, I'm, I'm trying to give you the mindset of our people. You just seen what our power did for us. How he delivered us from the Egyptians. And your ass, y'all asses went to go build a golden calf, man. To worship, said, this is my power. This is my God. This is who delivered us, man. I would have. See, that's why we can't be the most high. Because, see, this is grace and mercy, man. For you to be able to read this Bible, understand it's grace and mercy, man. Because when you read stories like that, you realize how sick our people are and how we need a physician and how we are stiff neck. When you read this Bible, you realize you got to be talking about Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, man. But let's get to um, we finish it out and of their detestable things therein. Therefore, I have set it far from them. Yep. Ever since we've been, ever since we got um, persecuted from, you know, 70 AD in Jerusalem, man, we never been back, man, as a nation, man. We never been back. So he set it far from us, man. 21, and I would give it into the hands of the stranger, which he did. That's who them people over there calling themselves Jewish, you know, over there proclaiming it to be us. So I would give it into the hands of the strangers for a prey and to the wicked of the earth for a spoil. And they shall pollute it. And they show did. 22. My face will I turn also from them. And they shall pollute my secret place. For the robber shall enter it and defile it, man. So, you know, just. And it's the same thing that we're doing right now. You know. See, this already happened. So you already got the strangers, the heathen over there in our land calling themselves us. And, you know, polluting it, you know. And that's why that place got to get on fire, too, just like this place. But um, so we doing the same thing today, man. Like you have to realize that money cannot save you. Money is a is 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 paper. Like even though the real money is like, you know, your substances and like gold and silver and your cattle and, you know, things that you need, you know, to actually live. That's the real money. But in this world, it's paper, man. So Matt, paper can't do shit for you in that day. And that's why I say this. Um, what's that? 7 and 13? Ecclesiastes 7 and 13? That's why the, that's why the words... This is why Solomon said this. Ecclesiastes 7 and 13. Consider the work of the Most High. For who can make... Oh, nope. It's 12. Ecclesiastes 7 and 12, for wisdom is a defense and money is a defense. So we all know that money, yeah, money helps, but that shouldn't be like your whole life. That shouldn't be like, I'm about to work 80 hours a week, man. When you going to give time to the Lord, man? The Bible say be, you know, um, godliness with contentment is great gain. Great gain, you know? I'll probably get that after this. Um, consider the work. Oh, for wisdom is a defense and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom give life to them that have it. See, money don't give you life. Wisdom give you life. And when you go to Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy time. And the fear of the Lord is thy treasure. It's your treasure, man. So fearing the Lord, having wisdom of the Lord, that's what's going to save you in the day that's, that's about to come. You know, so what's that? The first Timothy six and six. Oops. Yep. So, you know, like I said, it's nothing new under the sun. So it's just first Timothy first, first Timothy six and six. But godliness with contentment is great gain. 
for we brought nothing into this world and it's certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us there will be content, man. Because, look, it's a lot of people, like right now, it's a lot of people out there wishing that they had somewhere to, you know, to have some, some clean clothes and some food, man. You know? And if you got a shelter, man, you think your yeah, how about show me how was shy. If you got food, you think your how about show me how was shy. If you got raiment, you think your how about show me how was shy, man. And I don't want to make this video too long, but this, like I said, we got to get into the mind state of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah will provide for you no matter what. No matter what you're going through. And, and even though this is off the subject, always remember that if a brother is not cool with you, that don't mean that the Lord ain't cool with you. And just because a brother might be cool with you don't mean that the Lord is dealing with that brother too. So, but, um, but yeah, money and idols, man. Our money should be the Lord. And Lord willing that this video was edifying. And, um, you know, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, man. Who's preaching the truth, man. Who really got the truth. Don't try to watch other groups, man. They will lead you astray. And Lord willing, you see me in another video. Shalom to the Akium.